Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Skylar Reacts. Today, we got an update on the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight with a video called It's Over Before It Started. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the fam, and yeah, let's get it. So ever since they announced the fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson a couple of months back, a lot of people were very skeptical of the entire event. You had those who were saying this was absolutely pathetic and that Jake Paul should be jailed for fighting a man who is three years away from being a senior citizen. Damn. You had others <laughs> saying it would be rigged from the start. But I'm sure you have some opinions about Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah. Um... Honestly, I just think it's sad, bro. I think it's super sad. And overall, there was a lot of controversy surrounding this matchup, especially Honestly, once they announced that it would be a... I don't think Mike Tyson should actually do this fight. That's because of his age. Like, bro, you're almost 60 years old. Like, bro, you have money. Just lay down, bro. Smoke your weed. Enjoy life. Enjoy your retirement. Don't be doing this, bro. You don't need sanctioned to. Sanctioned bout that would appear on both fighters' overall record. We saw Mike training hard. Go! We saw Don't Jake get trolling as usual. <laughs> you heard it right, mother. I'm fighting Mike Tyson. But now, due to recent developments, it looks like this fight might actually be over before it ever even starts. And this would be the last. The main question is, was it even going to start to begin with? Or was it just like a publicity stunt? Just to like keep them, well, to keep Jake Paul relevant? The official piece you of training know. footage that we would receive from Mike Tyson and his camp. This was posted all the way back on May 7th. And like a lot of the videos that we've seen before, it's just Mike Damn. training on the pads. <laughs> Well, he hit so he's still looking very fast, he's looking really explosive, but like all the other clips, this video is all cut up, and we still have not seen him fighting for a sustained period of time. They would actually- That's true too, because the clips is not that long, it's probably like 20 seconds at very most. So, we haven't seen like a full round of him training, so his- you know what I'm saying? His endurance probably is not even there all the way, so that's maybe another reason. Head out to Dallas, Texas, where they would do this face-off. And now we say hello to the main eventers, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Bro, who is the announcer? Big boy. Big boy. Big boy. So as you guys can see, Jake even has a little bit of height on Mike Tyson. And this is by far the heaviest that we've ever seen, Jake. I believe they're fighting at around 200 pounds. Jake would do his best to intimidate Mike Tyson. I, not gonna lie, bro. This was so corny. I saw I saw this clip on Facebook, bro. I was like, bro, what is Jake Paul doing, bro? Like, come on, man. Mike Tyson is like unfazed, like, bro, come on. <laughs> And obviously, Mike would remain relatively unfazed by the Disney star. Now, when I say that these two have a different definition of intimidation tactics, I really do mean it. Jake is over there doing that dumb shit. <laughs> Mike is out here saying psycho shit like this. I want to kiss Mike's big juicy lips. What? He wanted to kiss me? <laughs> he he Indeed. Wanted... Huh? He said he wanted to kiss you. That's so ironic that he said that because I saw a picture of him dancing at 16 doing a little dance on yeah. YouTube. And for some reason, I had a reject an erection. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Mike. What? Wait. You had a what? Doing a little dance on yeah. YouTube. And for some reason, I had a reject an erection. <laughs> <laughs> Never change, Mike. Never change. What the hell? <laughs> 16 doing a little dance on yeah. YouTube and for some reason I had a reject uh, erection. Can you 16 doing a little dance on yeah. YouTube? Did he say when he was I had... Did he say when he was 16 or when did he say at 2016? I saw a picture of him dancing at 16 doing a little dance on YouTube. Saw him dancing at 16 and he had a oh bro, where's the police at? <laughs> and for some reason I had a reject uh, erection. Can you guys even imagine how wild Mike would have been on social media back in his prime? He would have been talking all kinds of crazy shit. He likely that, uh... would have made Ryan Garcia look like the most sane person in the room. Now this clip right here really just puts on display everything wrong with the current generation of TikTok kids. Who would train me better, Jake or, Jake or you, Mike? Who, me, definitely me. 
uh, older fighters had more heart and balls and weren't afraid, but I think the newer fighters have more skill and technique and are sharper. So that's why I'd be I don't a think coach. so. And so that was a fine question, but then here comes the kicker. Here comes the real question that was on this kid's mind. Anti shit. So, so, so you think he has bigger balls? Who, who do you think's got a higher body count? What's your body count, Jake? What's your body count? Hey, yo, who parent? Bro, who kid is that? I t no. Where this Bro, kid who kid, kid is that? <laughs> Jake, you think yours is higher? Kids these days are so mentally damaged, and I honestly Social cannot media. even blame yeah. them for being this way. I'm sure when this kid was about three years old, he had a tablet in his face, watching TikToks and YouTube shorts, getting red pilled in his brain <laughs> at the age of five. You're broke! Red pill. You're fucking poor! I mean, I'm serious when I say this generation really does not have a chance. And obviously, ever since this event was announced, you had a lot of critics basically saying that no one was going to give a shit and that no one was excited to see this. But I personally do think this will be a sold out fight simply because Mike Tyson is involved. Yeah. And there's a lot of people out there who think, well, this might be the last chance or the only chance. As much as you want to hate Jake Paul and think this fight not going to go, you know, the distance or not going to happen, people are going to still watch it. <laughs> people are going to still attend to it. People are going to still watch it. And plus, it's like live on Netflix, I think. So, yeah, that's even a easier, like, you know, way to watch a fight. Because now these days, you have to go to a website. You have to pay like $70. Bro, hell no. And so I ever get to see him fight, I don't give a shit if it's against a Disney star or if it's against a dead dog. I'm fucking going. I mean, I think the fanboys True. in this next clip really speak for themselves. Let's go, Jake Paul! There's wearing no a way. Team Jake shirt. Please reevaluate your life decisions, young man. Facts. Let's go, Jake Paul! Mike Tyson! Mike Tyson! Mike Tyson! What do you think the outcome of this fight is going to be? Mike Tyson all the f way, bro. Mike Tyson all the f way. Hey, brother, I'll give you 100 bucks if you say Jake Paul is going to win this fight. I mean, they even brought in Neon's cousin to talk to <laughs> shit. Jake would continue to troll with the infamous the Mike Neon Tyson cousin. face tat. He had this guy doing the Evander Holyfield bit and ear bit. Got that nasty ass ear up in his mouth. A mere week ago, Netflix was dropping promotional uh -oh. material like this, saying that the fight was two months away. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Bitch. Ooh. But sadly, guys, it's looking <laughs> like the fight is now not two months away, as there is all kinds of trouble in paradise. All right, so, so a couple of days issue? back, we got this breaking update. Mike Tyson reportedly suffered a medical emergency while getting on a plane last night. Of course, a lot of people were wondering, well, what the hell happened to Mike? And now you for had real, even more real. people saying that Jake Paul was wrong for taking this fight against an old man. We would then learn that his medical emergency was reportedly an ulcer flare-up. What's Which kind of just more signifies his senior citizen status. I mean, I do think ulcers can really f you up and even be like fatal in some cases. Yeah, see, he, I don't think this fight is worth it, bro. Like, honestly, if you already have a medical issue before the fight, imagine like during the fight or after the fight. Like, all it takes is one blow to like a specific part of your body to like shut you down, especially at that age cases and even after that news dropped jake paul would take to his podcast to promise that he's gonna fuck mike tyson up oh i'm certain i'm gonna win i'm fuck gonna it. i'm gonna fuck him up hell yeah no like for sure it, and it and it might it might just be easy actually he doesn't want that smoke he's like i'm gonna punch that old man right in his ulcer and it's a pro fight now so it's just war hell yeah I'm up, but <laughs> i'm excited it, the and the fact that he just talking about a 57-year-old man his entire time, as if he's talking to someone like his age. Most respectful way possible, because I, I do love him. But, you know, yeah. you can love a, a son, and you still have to discipline him. Nah, that's a crazy fucking sentence. Yeah. I mean, personally, <laughs> I hope that we get to see Mike beat the brakes off of Jake Paul. And here was Jake's little motivational speech to his fans. Here we are. Biggest moment of my life. Biggest stage from... Vine to a stadium, <laughs> 80,000 people, breaking records, the highest gate ever. This is uh, a testament to hard work, dedication, manifestation. Dallas was the first place I went to for a fan meetup when I was 17 years old. Oh, online. really? Now back here, the biggest stadium possible. 
And that's why I do have to say, no matter how you feel about this guy, because obviously a lot of people hate him, it is pretty crazy to go from Disney Channel and Vine to doing all this crazy shit. And the f***er does know how to sell a fight. Now in response <laughs> to this, Mike would say that he's now feeling 100%, even though he doesn't even need to be to beat Jake Paul's ass. He would then post this footage in the Dino Stepper 11s. Okay. And while he might have thought he was good, I guess that the doctors didn't agree. And then we got this announcement that the fight would now be postponed. Damn. Unfortunately, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson will not face off on July 20th as planned. Mike's recent ulcer flare-up has limited his ability to train fully for the next few weeks. The fight will be rescheduled for a date later this year after Mike's able to resume training with no limitations. And both fighters can have equal time to prepare for this once-in-a-lifetime yeah, matchup. Fair. Jake would then respond to the event getting... I wonder if um Netflix have any input on the fight. Like, if they don't feel like Mike Tyson, like is healthy enough for the fight. I wonder if Netflix is able to like step in and be like, hey, yeah, we don't want someone dying in our stream, especially for like our first like live event. We don't need anyone dying on Netflix. So we're gonna postpone this until like further notice. Being postponed. Obviously devastating news. I'm heartbroken, <sighs> speechless, like gutted. We've been working so hard over here, everyone in this camp. And I just feel bad for everyone involved in this event. The whole undercard, this is opportunity has been ripped from all of us. But I do uh, value Mike's health first and foremost. Love that guy. I have so much respect for him. And I want Mike to be healthy. And he says he still is going to knock me out. And I bought myself some time. <laughs> so Mike is still talking shit over there. Uh, but Mike, if you want to do this, like you said, behind closed doors, behind the scenes, you've said you want to do this in Q4. You just need a little bit of time. So I'm ready See, whenever no, you are. This is too bad. That's real. He's like, hey, forget about this whole Netflix thing. Hey, if you want to do it behind closed door, we can get it in. I respect Mike. See, Mike is a real one. <laughs> Big of opportunity. The universe makes no mistakes. He's a so real let's one. see what's in store. But sorry, this didn't work out to everyone. The fans love you guys. So now he's talking about, oh, it's going to happen in Q4, meaning it's going to happen in the last three months of the year. Honestly, at this point, I think that they might be just better off calling off this fight and maybe having Jake fight someone else on Netflix. Of course, Logan hmm. Paul had to step in to try and make it about himself where he says, so Mike Tyson's out. I'll step in and we can settle this once and for all. I do think when it comes to influencer boxing, this will be the fight to end all fights. Knowing them, they will orchestrate what's essentially the final scene in Rocky 2. But as Jake Paul is laying there on the ground going along with the act, <laughs> Logan's ego is not going to be able to take it. And he's going to stab his brother in the back, stand the f*** up, and drink a bottle of Prime in everyone's face. But yeah, guys, at this point, I would not be surprised. It sound like wishful thinking. <laughs> if the fight does not happen with the latest update in the news i am sort of gravitating towards the camp that this should not happen at all yeah i, of course, I don't i don't think it should happen below also want to thank you guys for watching today's video dropping a like and subscribing but as you guys know it's been your boy all right this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoy as always please leave a like comment subscribe join the fam and i'll see you for the next one